So this was a big project. It was carbon fiber, needed a facelift. It was in pretty rough shape. We had to fix all kinds of uh, cracked carbon fiber places on this thing because, you know, tire shake destroys these cars. But you can see here, if you look closely, you see, I want to show you something. You see the door? You see the quarter panel? You see the two differences? You see that? That's not in the paint. That is actually in the clear. Same layers of clear, same coat, same batch, same everything, but the door was cleared laying down on a table, and this was cleared here. So, I mean, just the way you move the gun with this clear can, uh, you know, change the outcome and how it looks. Now, I did all right on the front. You know, the front's pretty good. If you walk around over here, take a look at here you know this looks pretty good now this here it's not too bad you kind of really can't tell i guess i'm just nitpicking my own work you know that's kind of how i am but you know they're race cars you know anyone that knows they you know race cars get the hell beat out of them you know this here is airbrush that was on there when i got the car that's been on there apparently since the day the car was built is what that is so uh, which is really cool. And it's actually my buddy, Steve, you know, with the Extreme Bird, that's actually a decal that's on his car too. So it's really weird, the history of this whole thing with that bird. You know, it's on a couple cars and stuff, which I really think is kind of cool. History was everything to me on why I bought this. Scotty Cannon had this car. Jason Curry had this car. Car's been 257 in the quarter at English Town, and it held the uh, record there. And I believe it held the record until it closed up. So I don't really know all the exact history. I'm working on that this week. I want to try to find out more. I really love the car. This car right here, I want you to think about this. This car right here exists in my life because it's a bucket list car. But my Dauntless Daytona exists because of this car. I used to see this car along with Chip King's green Pro Mod uh, Daytona. And that's what inspired me to build my car. I could not afford, you know, a fiberglass or carbon fiber body at the time. So I painted my buddy Semi and he had an old 68 Charger in back. And, you know, in return, he gave me the car, which was really great of him. So... I had this shell that, you know, that I started off building, you know, the chassis that's the same chassis that's on this race car. And what I ended up doing was, I'm like, I can't afford to buy it or build it and to buy the, you know, the carbon fiber body. So I'm going to do the best I can with what I got. And I always told myself, man, someday I'd love to have one of these cars. So, of course, after I get my Daytona done, after, you know, 10 years on that thing, this thing pops up. I was in a position to sell some other cars and I was able to buy this. I mean, what am I going to do with it? I don't really know. i am be honest with you. I don't plan on keeping it. I, I mean, I just don't. I mean, I have my Daytona. I love my car. This is just something that I just wanted to say, you know, I own and I bought, I've had, and I gave it a facelift. I painted it a cool color. And uh, now at least if they don't like the color, it's, it's nice enough to where it could be wrapped, you know, to do whatever you want with it. Uh, I got, a, I'm probably going to put a blown alcohol motor in it with a power glide. And I probably sell it when I'm done. How much? I'm not sure. I mean, you know, a blown alcohol turnkey pro mod. I mean, do your, you know, you know, carbon fiber car, do the math. What's it really worth? You know, it's worth what, you know, someone's willing to pay for it. And it's worth what someone wants for the history of it like I did. So, but... It was a long week, and then some. We got weeks on this thing. It turned out pretty good. We did the black on the roof, make it look like, you know, that vinyl top look. So I got some decals. We're going to put Plymouth on the side. And uh, I got the headlight decals, the blackouts, you know, we're going to put on the front with the Roadrunner logo. And, uh, you know, it'll be a really cool car. When we get it all done, we're going to get it finished up. And uh, I don't know, might drive it. If I don't drive it, I'll sell it. I really don't know what I want to do with it yet. I guess if the right number comes along, 
anything's for sale, right? So, well, guys, listen, thanks for all the support, you know, painting this thing flat purple. Not a big purple guy, but the car was purple originally, and, you know, I thought, what the hell, I'm going to put it back to that color, but I put my own twist on it. So, thanks, everybody, for the positive comments. Thank you very much for all the birthday wishes uh, for me, and I hope you guys had a great fourth. I'm getting ready to leave the shop. Got to go to work. We got filming today. Peace out.